let's talk about cutting the cheese. Yep, you heard me right. Let's cut the cheese. I'm going to create a new document here. And we're going to call it Cut the Cheese. And we're going to use this as a way to look at making polygons, uh, how to use the point tool, and creating holes on a shape. So let's go ahead and create a sketch on our front view. And let's rotate our view this way so we can see it a little better. I'm going to zoom out slightly. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to look at the polygon tool. Now there's two polygon tools. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the um, little tiny dots in the icon represent two different spots. In one of them, we see that the second dot is part, halfway through one side. And on the other one, it is actually at the corner of the polygon. We want this one, and it'll make things a little easier today. So I'm going to click Circumscribed uh, Polygon, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to click on my origin, and I'm going to move it right away. Now we begin to see what the Polygon tool can do. So notice that the point I'm rotating is one of the corners. The, the other type of polygon would it would sit like this, and the point that you would draw is actually right in the middle, between two corners. Okay, so the circle there is just to help represent a size, and we're going to change the size anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to click on my vertical axis. And now we see this number, and if I move to the right, I increase the number of sides. If I move to the left, I decrease the number of sides. So for us to cut the cheese, we want a size, a, a three-sided polygon. So I'm going to move this so it says three and click. And notice here that we now have um, this 3x, meaning we have a three-sided polygon. If I change this to four, it changes the number of sides. Okay, so back to three. Now I want to change and make this a defined shape. I didn't get a chance to type in the size. I don't know why I said define shape. I didn't get a chance to define the size. So I'm going to use my dimension tool here and I'm going to click the bottom edge. I'm going to highlight it. I click once. And I'm going to move this number down and just set it here. Oop, my mistake, I clicked on the axes. So I'm going to do that again. And I'm just going to click off to the side here. And I'm going to make this exactly three inches. So now we have a three, uh, triangle with three inch sides. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And let's get my view rotated just a tad. And we're going to extrude. Now this time, when I click to extrude, I'm going to only extrude this 0.1, or one-tenth of an inch. So we want to make this really thin. And I'm just going to hit OK to apply that. And now we have this thin triangle. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and learn how to use the point tool. So I'm going to start a sketch and then click on the front here. And now that I'm drawing on the front, we have this tool up here, this point tool. So I'm going to turn it on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make um, 10 points randomly here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, now that I have those 10 spots, I'm going to finish my sketch. The point tool can be very useful if you want to mark particular points to use. Um, they can be used as for sketching purposes, and then you can always delete the points later. I'm going to use them actually as a way to manipulate the triangle. So now I'm going to come up here to my hole feature. And when I click on hole, I have some options here. I can sketch points to place to hold, or I can select my existing points. Now to select them all at once, I'm going to click and drag a box around this, and notice that all 10 are quickly highlighted, and it even has went ahead and shown me that hole there. And it just so happens I was going to go with a quarter inch hole, so that's perfect. It's exactly what I'm looking to do. And I'm going to go ahead and 
adjust the slider slightly to make them a little more defined. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Okay. So we've now cut the cheese, but, and I think you're starting to understand, we're actually just making a slice of cheese here. But uh, the cheese looks a little odd. So how about we edit the appearance? So right click, edit the appearance, and cheese is going to be more of a, let's go with more of a yellowish color. Yeah, that's about right there. And we'll just go ahead and finish that. And now we see that we have cut the cheese. 